right in and won the fight. Well, our next fight coming up here on the event entertainment, Super Bantamweights, Bridget Riley, and whoa, what a talent against Teresa Arnold. Eight rounds of Bantamweight action, and we expect this one to be perhaps the marquee fight of the night. I have seen both of these fighters, and for Bridget Riley, they call her the baby doll out of Tarzana, California, a tremendous kickboxer in her own right, and she has entered the ring first. I'll tell you what, if she's looking for a fight, she came to the right place because I have a feeling she's going to have her hands full tonight with the baby doll. The baby doll is quite an accomplished fighter. She is a good technician. You know how I met her? She called my radio show about two months ago and said she wanted a fight. I said, Rick Coles and Event Entertainment is going to throw a card in Southern California, an all-female card. And voila, she's here. And boy, is she here. And in her corner tonight is one of the great female kickboxers of all time, former world champion Lily Rodriguez. Quite an athlete in her day. Interesting about uh, the baby doll, Bridget Riley. No amateur fights, but a wealth of kickboxing experience. And there she is, Bridget Riley, the super bantamweight out of Sherman Oaks, California. Fights out of Tarzana. My first fight ever. Uh, I never had an amateur fight. I had a pro debut, and it was against the United States champion. So <laughs> I, w I was pretty nervous. I was real nervous. I trained for about a month and a half but I had a, a real extensive martial arts background. And um, I was really nervous, and I just went in there and, and won. And it was a fluke, because they looked at me like a stepping stone. So um, it was really cool, and I was hooked ever since. And then uh, she, my opponent, she grabbed the microphone at, after the fight, and she said, I want a rematch. This is a ripoff. And she thought she got robbed and talked a lot of neck. And we went a month. A month later, we went to her hometown, and I TKO'd her. I broke her nose and cut her and, and beat her again, and then I got to fight for the, the title. So it was really cool. <laughs> now, Bridget Riley is so pleased to be a part of this tremendous night for women's boxing. Let's go to Danny Dalvidia. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an IFBA Super Bantamweight Elimination Bout, eight rounds. Our referee, recently inducted into the World Boxing Hall of Fame, Marty Denkin. In the blue corner, wearing black trunks with white stripes, she's undefeated in nine professional bouts. One of those wins by knockout from Boise, Idaho. At 118 pounds, Teresa Zip Arnold. And in the red corner, wearing pink and blue trunks, We have to switch the corners, I'm sorry. Teresa Arnold is in the red corner, correction. In the blue corner, wearing pink and blue trunks, her professional boxing record, two wins, one loss, at 119 pounds from San Fernando, California, fighting out of the LA Boxing Club, Bridget Baby Doll Riley. Bridget Baby Doll Riley's record is 3-0 with two knockouts. Undefeated. Let's listen Bruce, in. You, you know your responsibilities. I told you what mine are. Let's all do our job. Phil Stone. Bridget Riley's got 10 years in youth on Teresa Arnold. Got an inch less in height at 5'4 to 5'5. And Bridget Baby Doll's got a two-pound weight advantage going into this eight-round title elimination fight. Now, this is a fight that, uh, that Bridget Riley wanted. I'm not so certain that her handlers wanted it quite this early, but for this night of women's boxing, she wanted to be here badly. Right. Both these fighters are undefeated. Somebody's O's got to go, Phil. Now, Riley's lightning quick. Nice. Good Three snapping jabs, jab. Huh? Good defensive move there by Riley, bobbing and weaving away. Well, I go back to what I said a couple of fights back, Pedro. The women, when they get in the ring, round, uh, into the ring, they just start right off. There's no feeling out. Now, both fighters score landing telling blows in the first minute of this fight. Nice right hand counter by Arnold there. Arnold is no slouch, undefeated in 10 fights. Good 
Good right hand by Arnold. You can hear that in the cheap seats here at the Rosita Country Club. Teresa Arnold is in the black. The baby dog is in the blue trunks. You know, the frenetic punching, and that's the way I want to say it, frenetic. They punch so much, it's very hard to score some of these fights. of this first round. Both women taking and giving just as good as you can. Oh, good jumping right hand by Riley. And I think that punch sold the round for him. Because I really think yeah, it was an even round going into that last punch, that last telling blow gave, Pedro, uh, gave Bridget the, uh, the round of Pedro's mind. Now there is Teresa Arnold. Good right These hands are by one, Arnold. I'm just watching both fighters go back and forth. I guess the highlights are self-explanatory here. Good right hand counter. That bothered, that bothered Teresa Arnold at the end of that round. That right hand really shook her down to the boxing boots. Left, 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 right, left, left, right. Okay, let's go. Now you hear her corner say left, left, right, and then she's gonna get that young lady right there. She's gonna have to do it quickly, Pedro because Arnold's given up 10 years to Riley. If this fight gets into the fourth and fifth round, you gotta believe Riley's stamina will win this fight. You may think that way, but then we have the George Foreman School, where the man is 48 years old is the best condition of all the fighters. Again, Arnold lands a hard right hand onto the jaw of Riley. My expert on uh, women's boxing told me that Teresa Arnold might be too much for Bridget Riley. That's what he told me when we were, I was in Aruba a couple weeks ago, and that's what he mentioned. I think the baby doll's got to work the body. Arnold is cut over the right eye. Yep. It's on the outside of the right eye, and at this point does not seem to be a, a factor. Good right hand to the body bar. Both women throwing great body shots. Boy, Riley going to work, and Arnold is not taking a step back. No. Now you see that cut beginning to, uh, to flow on the outside of Arnold's right eye. You know, Phil, certain people doubted the talent level of these performers, and there's no question about it, they're all world-class athletes. Good point. But Bridget is fighting a tremendous fight here in the second round. Took a real hard punch to open the round and came right back and stung Arnold. Oh, good right hand by Arnold. Final 10 seconds of this second round. Now you can bet the uh, ringside doctor is going to take a look at Teresa Arnold's uh, right eye. And we're going to go into the corner and take a look, too. What a round for Bridget Riley. There's Lily Rodriguez. And there's a... They're putting the inswell over that right eye. And the physician is now going to take a look as he leans in. And just take a look at action here in the second round. There's the punch right there. It was a glancing right hand that actually cut Arnold. Yep. I just got the word that Bridget Riley, this is a rematch, as, as I was told earlier, I forgot to bring this up. But this is a rematch. Arnold won on a very shaky uh, decision, sort of stoppage on a cut or something the last time. But these guys are ready to go. Actually, what it was, Pedro, Bridget Riley had contacts in their first meeting, and they got knocked out. You can't fight with contacts. So once they found that out, Bridget couldn't see the fighter. They disqualified her. So Bridget Riley was DQ'd in this first time they, came, they went around. So, Bridget wanted this fight, 
She subjected herself to eye surgery, radial keratotomy surgery, so she wouldn't have to wear contact because she wanted to box again. Fantastic. Can't wait for her. You gotta be busy, you gotta get off work. Okay, the hey, cut was uh, from an in unintentional butt, I believe, Marty Dinkins was saying. Yep, that's what he's gonna call it, an unintentional head butt, so it was not that glancing right hand. God, the baby doll looks so different from the weigh-in yesterday. I recently did a, a fight down in Long Beach on uh, Long Beach Grand Prix weekend, and uh, Bridget came in and, I mean, was dressed to the nines, looked beautiful, and I said, can I help you? And she said, I'm here to fight, and I kind of laughed. You're not laughing anymore, <laughs> Bill. <laughs> Good, looping left hand lands. Boy, Riley given and taken here in the third round. Yeah. Arnold catching some nice right hands here. Arnold is a very well thought of boxer. She's thinking in there. She's working the body with both hands. She's bringing them up. She's bringing her hands back in a defensive stance. She's a very, very good boxer. I asked her if she had any advice for any young ladies who were thinking about getting into the boxing game, and she said, I would advise any young lady who's thinking about it to go for it, but practice, practice, and more practice. Practice, practice, practice and run every morning. She's 34 years old. We're talking about the lady in black, Teresa Arnold. And boy, is she distinguishing herself against a fighter. Oh, Bridget oh, Riley. Bridget Riley, big right hand. Stop Arnold in their tracks. Boy, are they exchanging here. What you don't seem to notice in this round is that the defense of Riley, she slips punch as well. He works on the inside, both fighters. See that? Bridges bobbing and weaving. She faints. She, she's a very good professional fighter. Wonderful. Well, what a night of fighting it has been thus far here in Reseda, California. And we're not even halfway done. Oh, my. Teresa Arnold weighed in at 118 pounds. Bridget Riley tipped the scales at 118 as well. They're both bantamweights. They're scheduled to go eight. But Pedro Fernandez at this pace as we get set for round four, I don't see how they can go eight rounds. Neither do I. Here we go. Bridget on the attack. Good right hand crossing right hand. Good right uppercut by Arnold. Arnold's given and taken. Bridget's there, showing a mouse under the left eye. Bridget looking to counter more now instead of leading. Maybe fatigue is setting up for Miss Riley also. Well, a big mouse now beginning to form under that left eye of Riley. Yep. Arnold getting a little bold here, throwing right up because from the outside, that's sort of like disrespecting your opponent. Easy way to get countered, too. Boy, this has been a tremendous fight. Good left counter by Riley again. But Arnold comes right back and delivers a right hand. Arnold throwing the multitude of punches, but she's not scoring as much. Tough round to score, Phil. Wow. Five down and three up. Pretty incredible. Alex, listen into the corner as Lily Rodriguez talks things over with the baby doll. Bridget Riley loses her first professional fight. This has to be an excruciating night here. Before hometown fans, Teresa Arnold out of Boise, Idaho, came into Riley's backyard and won it.
A bad cut over Riley's left eye, and this fight has been stopped. What a shot. What a shot. But what a great win for Teresa Arnold. And let's go into the ring. Pedro Fernandez. Princess, are you disappointed? No, I'm very disappointed, you know? I wanted to finish it. I get stronger as the fight goes on, you know? You did get, so you were getting stronger. <sighs> okay. How did the cut happen? Punch? I didn't even know I was cut. I didn't even feel it. And they said I was cut, so it's a bummer. It's a real bummer. It's a real bummer. Would you like to fight her again after the cut heals? Oh, absolutely, you know. Because this is unfinished business, isn't it? It's, it's definitely unfinished. You know, I give it to her. She's a good fighter. She comes in shape. She's strong. But I'd love to do it again. Okay. They're going to hook it up again. Two quality fighters. want to congratulate you. Thank Put you up man. a great fight. I'd like to say hi to my family who's back home watching me. All Sorry, right. guys. Bridger Riley, you got to be a winner. got to be a loser. She lost tonight on cuts. Let's go back to my man at ringside, Phil Stone. Well, it was a game effort on the part of Bridget Riley. A tremendous fight on the part of Teresa Arnold. And what a shocking victory this has to be for Teresa simply because of the way it ended. And there is the cut right there. That first right hand.